update from Spain um, relating to our life in Spain. Uh, first thing I want to say is a bit frustrated about the software stuff I was relying on these guys putting together for me. Um, for this product, this, the guy that's actually the main guy who owns a company has sort of disappeared. He's not just frustrating me, but other people, because we've actually got a client that wants to buy it. We've also got um, some other people that he's involved with that, that are getting a bit annoyed as well. Um, so that that's a bit frustrating because that deal could have actually made enough money to carry us forward into next year even. Um, the electric stuff is starting to move, although it's mainly making money for Steve, my friend Steve, at the minute. So I've made no money on that, although... I've just started advertising some of the electric razors um, because all the stock that we have is all branded, which is much, much better than most of the stuff you can buy locally because a lot of it is Chinese rubbish. Spain gave a load of incentives for China um, to come and open businesses here. Um, I think it was a five-year tax-free incentive, and as such, they opened up. And, I, and personally, I think it was a bad move, although they pay business rates, etc., Chinese buy from China. Um, they're importing their own stuff, so it's not really helping the economy in that sense because all the money's going overseas. Um, so from my point of view, getting stuff like these Philips razors, and if you go over to our web, well, our Facebook page, you'll see the sort of stuff we're selling. Um, some of the razors are like two hundred quid, but we're selling them for about. 95 to 100 euros which is pretty cheap for a, for a brand new razor although they're not uh, factory returns um, damaged boxes that sort of stuff razors work fine they're still guaranteed etc it's just that they've gone back to the factory for whatever reason um, I think a lot of it is people doing catalog returns you know where they they buy it and then pay it on the never never but they suddenly buy it for somebody's Christmas birthday or something and then go Oh, that's going to cost so so they end up sending it back. Um, but the goods fine, and that's why we're looking at selling those. I'm looking forward to getting more appliances though. I'm I can see a huge market here for like things like toasters, um, kettles, fridge freezers even, um, because there's a huge rental market. Also, a lot of the stuff here is just rubbish. Um, because if you've got the right stock, it'll sell like no tomorrow. Um, we paid 20 euros for a Chinese toaster. And when I got it home, I actually shook it upside down and some screws fell out of it. That, that, that's the sort of quality you're looking at. Um, as I said before, with Car 4, we took back a TV. We took back a... Um, did we... Chair. Computer chair. Computer chair. What electrical items did we take back though? There was more than we took about three or four. Uh, there was a food mixer or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Blender. The blender. Yeah, food blender didn't work. What else was there? There's more than that. We bought a few things. It, Something missing from the your table. Oh, I bought a table. There's parts missing. Pretty much everything that has not been food orientated has had to go back to be replaced with another one. Um. And I want to move away from all that. I want to be able to say, well, our stuff is good quality. It's branded. It's, you know, when I say branded, I'm not saying like Nike t-shirts where they make no difference whether it's got Nike or it's blank. I'm talking about the fact that it's like the razors, they're Philips. So it's Philips quality. Um, the brand is actually built on the fact that they make good products, not that the fact that it's just a brand. Um, but yeah, I want to try and get that sort of thing going, but it will take a bit of time. And this is what my main struggle is at the moment is getting some income going because I need to sort of double my income at the minute and the opportunities are pretty tight. So I'm trying to work out what to do next. Um, cause I've got like, a few razors for sale. Steve sold, I think, five pallets of the various stuff now from his contacts he already had in Spain. But I can't wholesale stuff until I've actually got some bulk stuff for getting people to come and view it. Um, so it's sort of leaving me out of the loop at the minute until I've actually got a lot of products to sell, which 
can happen over the next few months but i need to be starting making the money money from this month which is where we're hitting on the uh problem at the minute so i'm sort of looking for some ideas at the moment in how to increase my income um because i'm trying to avoid going back to the uk if i can help it purely because if I go back it's going to probably be for a couple of months because there's no point flying back for one week it's got to be to build up the cash flow again uh, plus most of the contracts I deal with are normally three months minimum so it'd be a minimum of two months but reality is probably going to be three um, so I'm trying to avoid that working locally is near impossible unless I go and work at some of the call centers um, and I'm looking at that as well even because I think with the call centers, there's opportunity to expand it out because making a few contacts even, there's opportunities there. So I'm sort of sitting here today gauging up what I need to be doing to move things forward. Um, but I do need to increase by about 700 euros a month, um, which here, funny enough, is what a lot of people get paid as a salary. That's, that's a monthly salary for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, well, we'll wait and see. I know we'll get there, but it's just like with the headaches of the van, van, uh, breaking down, the problems with the SD card going corrupt. And then, um, what else have we had go wrong recently? Oh yeah. Money stolen from my PayPal account. Um, it's, it's been a, a difficult couple of months. But it's all part of life. I mean, the thing is, what's the point of getting upset about it, annoyed or frustrated? You just got to go, okay, that's what's wrong. How do we put it right? Where do we take it from here? Um, that's the only way I can put it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.